Hi, I'm Dimity Sky. Thank you so much for meeting me on the mat today for this full body stretch flow. This flow is going to stretch your entire body and leave you feeling completely relaxed. For this flow, I recommend having a bolster or a cushion, something that you can support yourself with and always um, recommend having a blanket and some blocks with you as well. I always have them with me. I don't necessarily always use them, but it's just nice to have the option there just in case. Other than that, you'll just need yourself in some comfy clothes and a mat if you have one, otherwise just some space on the floor. Get ready and I'll see you soon. We'll start class today on our mats, on our backs. Come all the way down and just hug your knees in. You can gently roll from side to side and give yourself some self-love. And plant your left foot. Grab a hold of the inside of the outside of your right foot and extend your left arm out to the left for half happy baby pose and just start to open up through the leg you can let your left leg splay open move around however feels comfortable and if this is too much you can always grab a hold around the ankle as well Now extend your leg the whole way up and grab a hold above or below the knee joint. More flexible, maybe you can grab a hold around the toes. So you're gently pulling yourself in. And then take that leg and cross it all the way over the top of the left. Reach around through behind the thigh or around the shin. So behind the thigh if you need to, otherwise reach on through. Flex your right toes. And make those little dynamic movements if you like, otherwise you can just stay still. Now close that gap and cross your right leg all the way over the left as you extend your arms out and let your knees fall over to the left. You can gaze right here if you like. Reach out through your right arm. Slowly inhale back to centre and plant your right foot half happy baby with your left foot extend your right arm out let right leg splay open move around however feels good now straighten that leg and grab a hold above or below your knee joint or around the toes if you like. Now cross your left leg all the way over the right. Reach behind the thigh or around the shin and gently roll from side to side. Keeping your left foot flexed in. Now cross your left leg all the way over the right, extend your arms out. Let your knees gently fall over to the right 
You can gaze left if you like. And relax. Completely let go. Let yourself soften. Inhale back to center. And then bring yourself all the way up and over onto your hands and knees. With your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hips, if you like. You can bring the hands to face inwards towards your knees. Cat cow, inhale as you gaze up. Exhale, tuck your toes as you round your spine. Again, untuck, inhale, gaze up. Exhale as you round. Three more, untuck, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Now come back to a neutral spine, bring your hands back to face forward if they're backwards. Walk your feet out, your uh, knees out so they're slightly wider than hip width. Inhale your right arm up. Exhale as you thread it through, over to the left. Right side of head comes down and option to take your left arm, bring it behind the back, open up through the chest. Keep your breathing long and slow. Now slowly release, you plant that left hand, sweep your right arm up and plant your right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it through. Left side of head comes down and then option to bring your right arm behind the back. Open up through the upper back and through the chest. Slowly inhale back to center. Right hand down, sweep left arm up. Exhale as you plant the hand and bring the knees back in together. And then pick up your right leg, circle it around. And then take it all the way out to the right. Walk your hands forward, tuck your back toes and start to shift your hips forwards and backwards. And make sure you place a blanket underneath your left knee if you have any sort of knee sensitivity. Keeping your arms straight here, so you're getting into the pelvis. One more back, one more forward. And walk your hands up. Now, right hand on right leg, reach left arm over to the right. Hold here. And slowly release, place both hands back down and bring the knee back in. Pick up your left leg, circle the hip. And take it out to the left. Tuck your back toes, walk your hands forward. Start to shift your hips forwards and backwards. Keeping arms straight. Getting into the inner thighs, the abductors and adductors, also through the lower back and the pelvis. One more back. And one more forward. Then walk your hands up. Left hand on left leg, reach right arm over. Feel that stretch down your right side, right side hip. And slowly release. And you can plant your hands. Bring the leg back in, walk your hands forward, tuck your toes and send your hips up and back, downward dog. 
Just start to pedal your feet out. Move your hips from side to side, bend your knees. Just making any sort of movements that feel good. And then pause, step your right foot to the right corner of the mat. Keep your back leg up at this point. If you need to lower it for any reason, you can do that, that's fine. And just do some little rocks here to start off with, rocking forwards and backwards. Now lower that back knee down, untuck your back toes and shift the hips forwards and backwards here. One more back, one more forward, plant that front foot. Now you can stay right here, lift the chest or lower your shoulder blades, uh, lower your elbow point, sorry, down onto the mat. You can use blocks here underneath your elbows or even a bolster or a blanket if you need a little more elevation. Let that front foot splay open and you can gently press against your inner knee if you like, giving yourself a gentle assist. Keep your breathing long and slow. One more breath here. And plant both hands, press on up and straighten your front leg. Flex your toes in and walk your hands over to the right. Relax your head and neck. So you want a right angle here with that back knee. So you don't want to be all the way down like this. You want to keep yourself up, keep those toes flexed in. Reach over to the right, so you're finding that stretch in your lower back as well as your calves and hamstrings. And then walk the hands back, plant that front foot, take your right arm, bring it behind the back, open up through the chest, and you can just stay right here if you like, or bend that back leg, grab a hold of the foot, pull it on in. And every exhale, see if you can pull that foot in just a little closer. One more deep breath in, exhale it out, and slowly release, release the foot, plant the hands, and you'll heel toe that foot into the center first, and then step it back into your downward facing dog. Step left foot to left corner of the mat, stay up. To start off with, lower the back knee if you need. Just start to shift your hips forwards and backwards. Long, slow, deep breaths here. Now lower that back knee down, untuck your back toes and start to shift your hips forwards and backwards. One more back and one more forward. Lizard pose, so stay upright or lower your elbow points down. Remember you can use something underneath your elbow points if you need to. Give yourself a gentle assist against that front inner knee if that feels good. And just relax, relax, relax. Letting go of any tension. And then slowly release. Straighten your front leg, flex your toes in, walk your hands over to the left. And remember, keep that right angle in your back leg. As you begin to soften, see if you can walk your hands over even more. And then walk your hands forward, plant that front foot. Left hand comes behind the back, open up through the chest, stay here or bend that back leg, pull it on in. Keep your chest open here. And 
breathe. Keep your mind at home in your body. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. And slowly release. Plant your hands, heel toe the foot in first, and then step it back into plank and downward facing dog. And then from here, lower your knees down, come all the way down onto your belly. Extend your right arm out to the right. This is a little like twister, but stay with me. All right, right arm out to the right, right cheek on the mat, prop on up onto your left fingertips, take your left leg up and over the top of the right. And then if you like, you've got that option of extending your left arm up, bringing it behind the back. Open up through your chest. Take some deep breaths here. Now inhale back to center. Take your right arm and you're gonna thread it under, underneath over to the left. Bring your left knee in a right angle, open up for a twist. More flexible, you'll grab a hold of that left knee with your right hand. And slowly release, back to center. Other side, extend your left arm out to the left, left cheek on the mat, prop on up onto your right fingertips, right leg up and over the top of the left, and then option to bring right arm behind the back. Take some deep breaths here. Allowing yourself to soften with every breath. Now slowly inhale back to center. Take your left arm and thread it under over to the right, right knee in a right angle. Open up for a twist. If you like, you can grab a hold of your left knee with your right hand. Now slowly inhale back to center. And press yourself up and over, extending your legs out in front of you. Inhale, straight spine and exhale as you fold. Relax your head and neck. Take some deep breaths here. If the mind starts to wander, just bring your attention back to your breath. One more full cycle of breath here. And slowly release. Now come all the way down and take a happy baby pose. So we took a half happy baby at the start. So take a full happy baby now, grabbing hold of the insides of the outsides of the feet or around the ankles. More flexible, you can take a lying straddle. So if you feel like you can really open up through the legs, straighten the legs, then go for it. Shut down your eyes here. Take some deep breaths.
and then straighten the legs. The legs come all the way up. Now here's where you might like to use a bolster or a block or a blanket, cushion, whatever you might have underneath the buttocks for Vipari to Karani, your legs up pose. And you can stay right here if you like, just letting all of that fresh blood, fresh fluid flow into the upper part of the body. Or you're going to lift yourself up and bring the legs overhead for a plow pose. And if the legs touch behind you, great. If they don't, no problems. Take about three more cycles of breath here. Just allowing yourself to soften, completely relax. And when you're ready, come all the way back over. And take that bolster or whatever you might have been using. And you can set yourself up for Shavasana. So I'm going to bring mine underneath the knees. Make any other final adjustments. Make sure you're warm enough. And you can place your palms upwards if that feels comfortable in a gesture of receptivity. It's ready to receive whatever this time has for us. Receive all the nourishment of your practice. Palms facing upwards in a gesture of receptivity. Ready to receive everything that this time has for us. Ready to receive all the nourishment of our practice today. We have released tension from the body and from the mind. So just feel a sense of lightness. Gently move your jaw from side to side just to make sure it's relaxed. Neck and shoulders, chest relaxed. Stomach and hips relaxed. Arms and legs relaxed. Take a deep breath in, smile as you breathe in. Gentle exhale out. Again in. And out. Last one here, deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And very slowly, you can begin to wriggle your fingers and toes. And start to bring yourself up into a seated position, no rush to get there. Come to sit on your bolster or whatever was beneath you, if you like. And take your right hand, left side of head, gently press away. And 
left hand, right side of head, gently press away. And slowly release. Bring your hands into Anjali Mudra. Take a bow to honor yourself. The practice and each other. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. And I look forward to practicing with you again soon.